Hello Cancer my darlings and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancer it's Sunday night it's time for the moon box reading yay. Um, just take what resonates Cancer leave the rest behind right and thank you so much everyone thank you to all of my subscribers thank you and welcome to everybody new here. Um, if you're new to the channel the moon box um, it's a bunch of tidbits that I've saved through the years okay. Um, and we're going to shake up the box. I'm going to, I'm going to pull some messages out. We're going to go through them together. Okay. So cover your ears. Here we go. <laughs> if you guys could see me, I'm like grinning ear to ear because I love moon box readings. Okay. I'm going to look away to pull these messages out. We got a lot of messages tonight, Cancer. Okay. Um, honestly, what I'm feeling like is somebody's watching you kind of under a microscope, okay? Watching you really close, doing a lot of spying, a lot of spying. And this is like a microphone cover. I feel like somebody um, wants to talk, all right? Somebody's picking up that mic, Cancer. I'm telling you. And look, it's it's almost as if, yeah, you know what? I'm getting the sense that somebody wants to sneak away from a karmic. You know, um, kind of what, like when their head is turned. When they're not looking, there's somebody who wants to come forward and talk to you. They're still with somebody else. She may be with them for money. She's She could be very flashy. Um, but yeah, see, in, in the up, like, in, this is like in the upright, right? Um, this is the karmic individual, but when she's not looking, there's a masculine, I feel. It could be masculine, feminine, take it how it resonates with you, but they want to come towards you and talk. But that's, I, you know, they're just sneaking away from someone. They're not actually breaking free, they're sneaking away. Oh, death. Okay, so I feel like... They want to end it with a karmic, but they're still sneaking away to come to you. I'm getting that if this person gets a chance with you, then they'll end it with a karmic, okay? I feel like maybe they're pressed for time. I'm feeling a pressure off of this person. Like they don't, yeah, like they don't have enough time. This is their shortcut idea. Thank you, Divine. Instead of breaking it free, taking all of that time to try to end things with the karmic, they know they're gonna like, um, they're gonna create some kind of, of chaos here in, in this situation when they confront this karmic about leaving them behind. They don't want to confront that right now. They would rather get to you first, see if there's a chance, and if there isn't, I don't know. I feel like this person wants to end it with the karmic anyway, but they want to get to you first. They need a shortcut because you're leaving their life really quickly. Um, and I'm feeling that panic energy, like they're, they're running out of time, okay? Some of us have been waiting 12 million years for you. Cancer, I feel like this is your energy. You're just done waiting for this person. It feels like you've been waiting 12 million years for them. This could be a past life soulmate connection. Lifetime after lifetime, Cancer, I feel like this person betrayed you. I feel like in this lifetime they were supposed to make things right and they haven't yet. They're feeling that pressure from the universe to do what they're supposed to be doing. They were supposed to bring you justice in this lifetime. And they didn't. You have been, you literally, some of you have been waiting 12 million years for this person to come around and do the right thing. And I feel like you're walking away from them. They know it. They know it. But they're still with a karmic but yet they still want to talk to you. Um, yeah, see, they're with the karmic for comfort, okay? Um, they may have a home with this karmic. Um, I, I feel like there's some kind of money involved in this. Like, this person could be a business owner, a boss. They could have a business together. They could have a, um, they could have just recently purchased a home maybe together. You know, but I feel like this person's in a comfort zone and they don't really want their world shaken up. Like it, to them, it's like, why shake up this comfort zone with this karmic 
when if if it's not necessary so that's why they're coming to you to see if there's even a chance i think that's the coward's way out honestly they're taking the coward's way out here yeah see and i feel like this is they're in a comfort zone right now all right they're uh they have a home situation with this karmic um they could have even gotten this karmic pregnant but that's not for all of you. That's very specific. Okay, maybe just a few of you. Yeah, discover, un uh, discover nature's unspoiled hidden gems. Then leave the surroundings as pristine as you found them. This person's just coming in and out. Okay, they're coming to you to talk to you to see if there's a chance. But they're going to be leaving right away and going back to this karmic. They are in a comfort zone. They just don't like the fact that you're moving on. They're losing you. They're panicky. Um, and th they should have handled the situation with the karmic a long time ago, but they didn't. Okay? Spread the word. This person may want to get the message out to you somehow. So they may even, um, they may even ask somebody... Yeah, see, they could even like write a letter or something like that and have someone else give it to you. This is totally the coward's way out. You know, um, I feel like if they want out of this karmic situation, they should just get themselves out of it. Um, this is a grown adult, okay? They're not actually shackled down to anything. They do have a voice and they can speak their truth. You know, this person's trying to sneak in and out, in and out, in and out, bouncing back and forth, right? Not actually ending anything. S possibly sending someone else in to talk to you for them, okay? You know, because what? Because they don't want their, their life shaken up. They don't want to be in an uncomfortable situation, Cancer, but where did they put you? You know what I mean? by the numbers you could be seeing a lot of sign synchronicities they could be seeing sign synchronicities repetitive numbers um they're getting the messages from the divine to do the right thing okay and i feel like every day that goes by that they don't get themselves out of a situation they don't want it's it makes it even harder for this person to get out of that all right Play all day. I feel like this person is pretending. They're pretending in a karmic situation. They're pretending that they don't have feelings for you. They're pretending to be happy with this karmic. Um, I feel like they're just playing house. You know, they're not really, they don't want the karmic anymore. They want to sneak around. And this is a situation that's dead. It's over. And they continue to stay because they've created like some kind of comfort zone there. Maybe this person is worried about um, being alone. They don't want to be alone or they fear change, you know, but they know when they speak their truth to this karmic, their world is going to change as they know it. And it's, it's almost like um, everything will be turned upside down. And that's what they're trying to avoid. They're trying to avoid that tower moment, that um, chaos, the drama, okay? The fight that's going to ensue when this person tells the truth. They're, they're really concerned about, they fear change. Like this person, I'm feeling the fear, I'm feeling the panic, but yet they should have done this a long time ago. They needed to um, right their wrongs and bring justice to you in this lifetime and spirits really pushing them to do this they're getting a lot of pressure from spirit but yet you know i mean i feel like what spirit wants this person to do really if you look at it deeper is get the courage they need to make a change for themselves in their own life right now this person's living a lie and they know it but yet they, they're settling for material comforts, for 3D comfort, okay? I feel like what spirit wants this person to do is boss up. Stand up, take a stand for themselves and speak their truth. Take a risk for themselves and their future. But this person is continuing like to take the coward's way out. 
the the only idea they have right now is to send someone else in to talk to you for them. You know, there was a little girl. I wonder if somebody is pregnant. I, I feel like there's some kind of there's some kind of children involved in this or this person has watched you grow and transform okay because you're a different person than what they remember Ooh, responsibility is on the flip side i feel like this person needs to take responsibility for their own choices they may even like that like i said somebody could have gotten someone pregnant here pretty specific but they could um, they could be staying with the karmic out of obligation um, feeling responsible for for a, a new baby maybe yeah a handful of no regrets um, I feel like honestly I feel like this is your energy you're, I feel like it's both of you. You have no regrets in the situation. Your person doesn't want to have any regrets in theirs. Okay? Um, if, they, if they leave this behind feeling responsible, I feel like this person is, they know that they're going to be burdened by that. Either way, this person's got to carry some kind of burdens. Losing you or walking away from this situation with the karmic. Okay? They're going to have burdens and regrets, no matter what I feel. Yeah, and they don't think that that's fair, but that's actually justice. That is very fair. This person, yeah, and that's what it is, you know. They're thinking that the universe is being unfair, but they're not. This is the universe balancing the scales. This is the universe saying, well, there were, in fact, consequences for your choices, buddy, and this is it. Either way, you're going to have some regrets. Either way, you're going to be burdened by something because you're, you're either going to, you're going to be burdened by um, leaving this karmic situation or you're going to be burdened by um, cancer leaving your life. What is it going to be? Which one do you want? You chose all of this. This person got themselves into this. So yes, it is fair. It's just that this person's feeling sorry for themselves. They're angry at the universe. They're angry at the divine. Okay? And they're panicky, you know? They're seriously, they're, um, their emotions are like at an all-time high right now. Um, connections, yeah. It's like, which one do you want? Which person do you want, you know? I feel like this is like repetitive patterns for your person. Um, they may go back and forth with people, you know. They may have started something with you, Cancer, thought the grass was going to be greener someplace else. Now they're seeing that the grass is greener with you. Um, you're in this time of joy. Now they want to come back to you. This could be a pattern for your person. Number one, they never want to be alone, okay. They don't like being alone. So they're, they're constantly trying to find the next best thing so that they don't have to be alone. They always have to be in a relationship. And I feel like this person keeps choosing like karmic relationships. Then they meet you. They fall in love. They're like, whoa, my life is being turned upside down. Yeah. And honestly, if they, if they don't speak their truth and allow their life to be turned upside down in this karmic situation, they're going to lose the love of their life. It's like a pattern, right? But you're, you're different. You're driving this person insane, okay? You are. The, um, the love that they have for you is something that they're having a hard time dealing with, okay? They're having a hard time dealing with the panic, the nervousness, the pressure, um, and they're having a really hard time taking this risk because they don't want to lose their comfort zone. This person's kind of a mess right now, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I feel like this is your energy here, just going on some new adventures. You want something new, Cancer. Some of you are planning a vacation. I'm hearing something about Canada, right? You could be going to Canada, um, or you could live in Canada. Big shout out to Canada. 
Um, yeah, I feel like you're just, uh, you're wanting to start something new. You are so tired of waiting for this person to get their life together and decide what it is that they want and come in and do the right thing. Um, you're tired of waiting for this person to show some courage and some strength feel like you've this person's kind of been the weakest link in this you're the strong one cancer okay and you're looking at this masculine i feel like it's a masculine energy doesn't have to be but you're looking at him like come on for real are you uh, um i'm hearing amy winehouse you should be stronger you should be stronger than me you should be stronger than me, right? Amy Winehouse. Um, check it out. That song is called You Should Be Stronger Than Me. And I feel like that's pretty much um, what you're saying here in the reading, okay? And you're, you're kind of like, you know what? I'm going to be focusing on new things now. I don't want to be in the stagnant energy anymore. Yeah. I feel like, here's the thing. Remember when I said this person wants to sneak away from the karmic and come to you. Here's spirit blocking them. This polar bear is spirit. This car is, is a masculine. This is masculine energy here. And spirit's blocking them like, what do you think you're doing? Haven't you learned your lesson yet? You know you can't be sneaking in and out, bouncing back and forth, in and out energy. You have to do the right thing. We've all been waiting 12 million years for this. <laughs> you know, that's what Spirit's saying. Um, you need to do the right thing in this lifetime. So they're blocking this person and their ideas of sneaking away or sending someone else in to talk to you for them. Spirit's also telling this person they need to boss up and have strength. They need to handle this the right way. Yeah, spirit is demanding it, and spirit is the world's most demanding, okay? Um, so, yeah, I feel like that's a demand from, see, you, you can't be running around. You, there's going to be no more in and out energy, no more playing energy, no more sneaking around. If you, if you want the collective, if you want cancer, you're going to have to take a stand and do this the right way. You're going to have to show some courage. You're going to have to show some courage and you're going to have to release your fake comfort zone to do that. Oh, yeah. This person, man, they've made it very difficult for themselves. Yeah. And spirits like of all the things you'll put into it, effort isn't going to be one of them. No effort. You're going to send someone else in to, you know, they're, man. Yeah, spirit's really sick of this. They're like, you need to put in the effort. You need to do the right thing the right way. No more running around, okay? Something about community here. What is this all about? Yeah, you're leaving. I feel like you're moving on. You're going to a whole new community. <laughs> you know, I feel like um, this has just been kind of a roller coaster for you. Then it was stagnant for you. Um, now you're just kind of over it. I feel like you guys are moving. This is a lot of forward movement to a whole new community. Okay, so yeah, they're being shown that you're leaving them behind. They've got no time left. Yeah, whoops, this person is screwing up. They're under judgment here, heavy. I feel like they've got some blockages in their life too. If this person was waiting for any kind of opportunities or, um, you know, any kind of blessings, they're blocked. Spirit's blocking this masculine until they stand up and do the right thing. Yeah, they screwed up. They were supposed to be a leader. So I feel like this is a divine masculine. I feel like you're a divine feminine cancer. And this person, if they're a divine masculine and a leader, they're held to a higher standard. And you have to have confidence in yourself to be a leader. You know, you've got to be strong. You've got to persevere. And I feel like the spirit is reminding this person of the contract. I feel like there was a contract here. And um, they're, they're expected to show some strength. 
You know, you over here, you're, it's getting to the point where you have no interest left in this person because they're not showing you that they have a backbone. You know, I'm sorry, but it's, it's true. They're, they're hiding, they're lying, they're keeping their feelings hidden. They're, they're keeping up like, they're wearing a false mask here in the karmic situation and they're hiding from you. And if they come in at all, this person here, if they come in at all, they're going to be leaving right away to go back to their comfort zone. And you're to the point where, you know what, I know, <laughs> right? I know. And I don't, I'm just not interested in all of that. I'm not interested in being a third wheel. I'm not interested in being treated like an option. I'm not interested in being part of a third party. You know, you're moving on. So you're moving, okay? Or just moving on energetically, all right? And because of that, you're having a victory because you're choosing yourself. You know what you're worth and you, de you know you deserve better than to just be toyed with, okay? You know you deserve better than to um, play, you know, have somebody play games with you who isn't grown and doesn't want to take a stand. You deserve somebody who's going to defend you, protect you, be there for you, you know, be somebody you can trust. You know, you need somebody loyal and dedicated, okay? That's what you need. And I feel like you know your worth, you know your value, you're not going to settle, and that's why you're having a victory, Cancer. Okay, so you're moving forward. This is like being in your chariot, okay? This is like being in your chariot. The winner, the roller coaster, yeah. So you're in your full chariot energy, empress and emperor energy right now. Okay, tough as nails, super strong. Stronger than this person. You should be stronger than me. Right? Amy Winehouse. Yeah, and you're going in style. So I feel like you guys are very abundant, very successful, beautiful, high vibing. Um, you could have a, a following. You could be in the public eye. Um, you could have your own platform, website, or just be on social media. I just feel like you're going in style and this person can see it. Um, yeah, you're having a major victory, a huge glow up out here right now. You're totally upgrading in your life, okay? Look at where you're going. You're upgrading, okay? Um, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're moving to a new home, it's a really nice home. Like maybe in a gated community, something like that, you know. Um, if you're getting a new job, it's a huge promotion. Management, executive level. Um, you know, I guess it, it really doesn't matter what you're doing. You're leveling up. You're definitely upgrading in some area. Yeah, and this is part of the plan, right? This is the divine's master plan. You know, but here's the thing. They, they had a plan for this person too, but they're not listening. They're being stubborn. They're being reckless. And they're being a coward. You, I feel like you, um, you never stop believing in yourself. You listen to the divine and you trust it in the messages. Okay? And when the divine said, jump, you jumped. You didn't even ask how high. When they tell you to make a move, you do it. You trust that intuition, and that's what's led you to this victory. Okay, that's why you're in your chariot. That's why you've healed. That's why you're out here winning. Okay, so yeah, you listen to the divine's uh, master plan. You may not know the whole entire master plan, um, but you trust it. Okay, Fun, what is this all about? <laughs> what is fun? See, somebody's going to come knocking on your door, Cancer. Um, now, when fun came out, I, I just felt um, page energy. So there may be somebody that your person is sending in to talk to you for. Yeah, talk to you for them. Like plead their case, right? The, the, I feel like somebody else is coming towards you. Man, I'm telling you, your person is under judgment so bad for this. 
Yeah, chronic migraine. You're like, oh, when will this end, right? When will all the games end? Um, your person could be suffering from some migraine headaches too. This is a lot of pressure. So I know spirit is giving them a lot of downloads, a lot of messages right now. Um, they could be feeling dizzy as well. I'm seeing somebody getting a nosebleed. Okay, so yeah, they're getting a lot of messages. If they do this, um, yeah, if they do this, I feel like that's it for them. This is a real test of whether or not this masculine deserves the title. Okay, and if they um, take the coward's way out and send someone else a little page in to talk to you for them, if they don't break free from the karmic because they're faking, they're living a lie, um, they're just in it for comfort. You know, if they keep playing these games, the spirit is going to take, I feel like they're going to be stripped of their title. I feel like you're going to reject this. They, no, they're sending somebody else in to talk to you for them. And, and while you're in the chariot, that's like a lot of strength and determination there. I feel like you're going to reject this right away. Right away. Um, and they will, I, you know, I feel like karma is going to hit them hard after that. Yeah, this person, they're being urged to do the right thing the right way. Okay. They're being urged to get some courage. This is a big test for your person. They're under judgment. I don't even think they're fully aware of how much trouble they're about to get themselves into. Okay, anyway, Cancer, you just keep doing what you're doing. You keep moving forward, having those new adventure, adventures, meeting new people, right? Maybe even making a house move. All right, you just keep on winning out here, Cancer. You focus on yourself. Spirit is working with this masculine, okay? Anyway, my darlings, that's what I've got for the moon box reading tonight. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates, Cancer. Like and subscribe to the channel, you guys. If you like this vibe, join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.